Now for the last part, it says, hence or otherwise, find the smallest positive value of x for which the curve with equation y equals f of x has a turning point. Now, we know that at a turning point, f dash x, the first differential of x, must equal zero. So that's what I'm going to write here first of all, that at a turning point, we know that f dash x must equal zero. And that's why they said hence, because obviously we've got to, or well, they're encouraging us to use f dash x, which is what we worked out earlier. We worked out that f dash x was our e to the power 2x cos of 3x plus alpha. And that has to equal zero. So if we've got something like this that equals zero, it's factorized. It can't be r that equals zero, and it can't be e to the 2x that equals zero. It's got to be the cosine of 3x plus alpha that equals zero. So therefore, cos of 3x plus alpha must equal zero. But let's just hold on for a moment. Why can't e to the 2x equal zero? Well, you should know that the graph of e to the 2x, if we were just to sketch it here, we'll just sketch our x and y axes. An exponential graph, e to the 2x, would look something like this. It's your standard e to the x graph, which looks like that, just compressed to the y axis, or it's a stretch of scale factor a half, actually, parallel to the x-axis, it would kind of squash the e to the x-graph closer to y-axis, but fundamentally it looks much the same kind of shape, okay, something like that. So that's y equals e to the 2x, but the point behind this is that it doesn't cross the x-axis, there's no point where it equals zero. The x-axis is what we call an asymptote. And r, as I say, can't equal zero because that's a positive number. So it leaves us with cos 3x plus alpha then that equals zero. And this is very easy to solve because all we've got to do is inverse cos both sides. So we've got 3x plus alpha equals the inverse cos of zero. And we should know this result. It's very straightforward. If you took the cosine graph, if you had y equals cos of x, say, it'd be a graph that looks something like this. Admittedly, you could use your calculator, but if this is y equals cos x, we should know that this crosses the x-axis if it was in degrees mode at 90 degrees, but we're in radians mode, so this is the equivalent in radians is pi over 2 for that point there. So we've got that 3x plus alpha equals pi over 2. And to get x, all we've got to do is subtract alpha and divide by 3. So x equals pi upon 2 minus alpha all divided by 3. Or you could write a third of this. I'll just write it all over 3 for the time being. Now we know what alpha is. Alpha was the value that we got earlier. I'm going to write this though as a third, a third of pi over 2 minus alpha. And alpha we had as 0.98279 and so on. Okay, radians. Now to work something like this out, you don't have to be in radians mode. Just you could be in degrees mode, it doesn't matter. But uh, anyway, if you work that out, what you should find that you get is 0 0.19600 and so on. And if we give this to say three significant figures, then x is going to be equal 0 0.196 to 3SF. Just squeeze that in there. All right. So I hope that's given you some idea. And that brings us now to the end of this question.